So this should come as no shock for those of you who watch my videos and know what I do, but for those who don't, I love MMORPGs. I mean, it's not like most of the content on my channel focuses on FF14 or anything like that, but do you want to know what has really helped me a lot when playing MMORPGs? And not just those types of games, but with literally any other game in general on PC? This boy that... That was totally planned. This bad boy right here, an MMO mouse. But aside from FF14, I have played so many other games with this mouse like Halo, Gears of War, Path of Exile, Borderlands, and many more. And so today, I want to talk about why I highly recommend MMO mouses. Not just if you play MMOs like Final Fantasy XIV or WoW, but just any game in general, really. Now, before we begin, I just want to note that this video isn't sponsored by anyone, but you know, if uh, any brands want to slide into my DMs for a potential uh, sponsorship, you know where to find me. Okay, so let's discuss some of the reasons why I really recommend MMO mouses. So the first reason I have, and probably the most important, it's perfect for MMORPGs like Final Fantasy XIV, World of Warcraft, Guild Wars 2, Elder Scrolls Online, and many more. And it's especially useful if you play melee-oriented jobs, whether it's like melee DPSs or tanks that require you, that basically allow you to move while casting abilities. Basically classes that don't have a cast time, that way you're more you have more control over your own freedom and you're able to use your abilities while moving. So that should come as a pretty obvious tip, but it's still one that I wanted to point out nonetheless. And another reason, MMO mouses are highly effective for games like FPSs. So for games like Rainbow Six Siege, where you have the option to lean left or right, so kind of taking cover with these abilities. You can hotkey your lean buttons to something like 7 or 9, that way it's easy to move around with while you keep your fingers on the WASD keys, that way you're able to change positions more effectively, and you can switch between weapons and equipment more effectively as well with the number keys on the mouse rather than just using the scroll button. And usually, with melee being set to V and grenade set to G, I usually bind my melee and grenade keys to 4 and 6 respectively. That way I don't have to worry about whether or not I will be able to move as effectively if I'm using one finger to reach over to F or something like that. And not to mention how useful it is with an MMO mouse, being able to set push to talk for multiple different buttons and multiple different voice chats. So let's say, for example, you're playing with some friends and you're in a Discord call with them, but you also have a team that aren't in the Discord call and you are kind of have to communicate with them too. Like, let's say, for example, you can hotkey one of these buttons to be push to talk in-game, and you can hotkey another button to be push to talk for your Discord call, making it really versatile. And if you're playing games like COD or Battlefield, which usually have you activate kill streaks or use tools or equipments through the number keys, then the MMO mouse will really be able to help you activate them more effectively without having to move your fingers off the keys, similarly with Destiny 2 and the class abilities. So it's kind of like the same kind of idea with the controller players, loving devices like the Xbox Elite controller or the Scuff controllers, mainly due to the paddles on the back here, which you can see right here. That way you can, what you can do is like, you can, like let's say for example you have this set to A and this set to B, you can jump in melee without taking your thumbs off the thumbstick. So it's kind of similar to that with the movement keys. And another reason why I recommend MMO mouses, they're relatively affordable too. Now, sure, some of the most popular ones being from high-profile brands such as the Corsair Scimitar or the Razer Naga, they may be the most well-known MMO mouses, but they are by no means the only ones you can get. Like, if you go to Amazon, for example, and search up MMO mouses, you can find many surprisingly high-quality yet affordable mouses such as the Logitech G600. What's nice about this mouse in particular is it has this pretty unique feature for a mouse where it actually has a third click button that rests upon the ring finger. Or, if you're a caveman like me and likes seeing all the pretty colors flash on your mouse, there's mouses like the Red Dragon M908, which are also very highly effective and comfortable to use. 
but sadly there's no ring finger click but it's still a great mouse nonetheless and so needless to say MMO mouses are by no means only good for MMORPGs. I feel like they give you a massive advantage in pretty much any game on PC, so that's why I can highly recommend investing in one. Now anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope this guide helps you guys figure out what choice you want to make. Feel free to comment down below what mouse and keyboard you are currently using right now, or controller and what MMO mouse you are using if you just so happen to be watching this video for shits and giggles or you plan on getting one and like and subscribe for more gaming content I primarily make Final Fantasy 14 videos although I love to branch out and make other stuff as well follow my socials for more updates and I will see you guys later you guys are the best Umbra out